Well, here we go. Um, I finally get to do the walk around of my pride and joy, AKA Barney. It's a 2018 Land Cruiser Sahara. Um, we've been putting this together for about three years during COVID and everything else um, to suit uh, what we do and how we do it. And I'm just gonna go around the outside and give you a, uh, a little glimpse of what's inside and the uh, power pack that comes with it. I bought this car brand new in 2000, or well, it was a 2018, but it was 2019 um, delivery, um, early 2019. And uh, when I ordered it, uh, we ordered it um, pre-rego with uh, 3800 upgrade from Lovells. Um, because we thought that would be enough. Um, but uh, subsequently we bought a bigger van <laughs> and um, and it's a four ton, or it's rated at four ton, as you know from our other vlog uh, about the caravan. And so we got the 4200 upgrade for the car, levels again. Um, so that was, but that was post rego, uh, a bit more difficult, but um, still got the stamp of approval from uh, Vic Roads. Um, the other modifications that we have uh, been uh, that we have put on the car uh, from brand new was the Safari Armex Snorkel. Um, I'll show you under the bonnet in a minute. Um, so now we'll uh, pop the bonnet and I'll talk about what's under the hood. Um, for starters, uh, we had uh, to, to go with the snorkel was the uh, Radius uh, airbox, which is a, a bigger airbox. Uh, doesn't leak dust like the uh, Toyota uh, standard ones do as much. Uh, the other thing was was a pre-filter, uh, which I'll show you over here. Uh, so it's a, the fuel pre-filter that goes with the normal, your normal filter. So if you've got any bad fuel, which is, uh, there's a lot of places around Australia where you do get bad fuel, uh, that'll cop it first and it won't go into your motor and stuff your motor up. Uh, also got a, uh, what I call a buke tank. What do you call it, honey? Oh, the, the ca ca oh, catch can. Catch, catch can, can, yes. Okay, so uh, yeah, we also got a catch can um, that uh, gets rid of all the gunk out of your motor before it gets to your motor. Um, uh, the other modification was we got it chipped and uh, put it on the dyno so it's now tuned for uh, towing so it's uh, it's actually um, uh, you know a better a better tune for when we're towing the caravan uh, also we got the uh, gearbox um, upgraded uh, the torque lock uh, upgrade on the uh, on the gearbox which then allows it to uh, find sixth gear when you are towing which saves you a whole heap of fuel you know we've been going around for about five or six months now and uh, I average about uh, 18 and a half liters per hundred kilometers uh, which is pretty good I think for a uh, for a big thing like this and we're towing around seven over seven and a half tons so I think that's a pretty good uh, choice um, you know money well spent uh, in my book especially now when fuels two dollars forty or two dollars fifty a litre up here in the north um, and on the Nullarbor we got what 15.4 I think it was yeah we 15 averaged. and a half we averaged uh, was no wind there was no headwind or anything like that and it was a straight road but uh, yeah 15 and a half we were averaging over about three or four hours um, yeah which was pretty good I, I thought didn't you yes yes okay. Yeah, we also have uh, dual batteries. Um, one's a cranking battery and the other one uh, can be used for accessories and everything else. So uh, that's just another insurance policy when you're on the road. Uh, also uh, part of the uh, upgrade that we did, uh, the exhaust system. Uh, we've got a uh, stainless steel exhaust system, four inch into, uh, sorry, three inch into four. Um, it's uh, post catalytic converter um, and gives us a whole heap of uh, uh, fuel economy as well um, just gets everything out of the engine a lot quicker so now we get to the front of the vehicle which is a pretty cool part of my vehicle I'm pretty proud of it uh, we've got the Rhino bull bar and uh, came with the Rhino bash plate 
uh, we didn't get a colour code or anything else like that because we bash it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna, it's going to either dint or whatever. Um, so it's just an aluminium one. So part of the bull bar um, that we bought, we got the uh, matching Rhino winch, which is uh, twelve and a half thousand pounds uh, winch with the uh, with the synthetic rope. Uh, which I think is better than steel and, and all the others um, doesn't go to shape as much um, things like that for when you when you're actually um, recovering so I think that's a pretty good uh, and it's got a remote as well so you can um, work it remotely away from the car so if it does snap it doesn't uh, bash your head so overall the reason I chose uh, the Rhino bull bar um, because of the aesthetics uh, it doesn't take away from the rest of the car looks super cool uh, like my wife <laughs> and um, Not yeah so cool. uh, and, um, and yeah. it's very sexy yeah very very sexy so on the uh, also going on the front of the vehicle uh, we've got the steady uh, spotties which are um, pretty good um, where did you get them from Tony they're a birthday present from my wife. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, also, I've got the fishing rod holder. It's not here at the moment. It's uh, it's a screw on um, that uh, doesn't take away from your um, your radar at the front. Uh, also, uh, with the uh, the radio um, antenna, we've got a an ICOM 80 channel uh, UHF radio. Um, everyone needs one. I put it on channel 40 and listen to all the truckies. Uh, talking their talk and, and especially uh, in WA the lo the wide loads that come along yep um, they talk to you and yes they warn you that there's wide load coming or whatever it be or if you're behind one they radio and let you know if it's safe to pass yeah, that's right it's actually been really good and the other day uh, we were coming through from um, Kel uh, where we where well we Exmouth yes towards uh, Onslow yeah and uh, there was a lot of uh, road flooding and uh, there was a few guys that were coming the other way that were um, that I gave way to because uh, they couldn't get through uh, a bit of uh, water on the road and they actually radioed us and said um, up ahead there's uh, there's a fair bit of uh, water on the road up to about your knee height which was uh, good good of them to say that and that's where the radio comes in handy just to let you know uh, the road conditions ahead but coming around to the side um, the shoes um, we prefer the uh, Baja Bosses from Mickey Thompson. They're 285 65 18s. Uh, the reason we chose um, these is the thicker sidewalls, uh, which gives you um, more comfort when you're uh, airing down. You can air down to about 15. We've got a lot of weight on this vehicle, and I can air down to about 15 and still be uh, uh, sure that we're not going to you know, roll off the rim. Uh, that was the reason uh, I, I took these on. Uh, we've had a set previously uh, on this vehicle and um, it was, uh, mate, I think I did about 80,000 Ks before we, we changed them. So uh, getting 80,000 Ks out of uh, a set of uh, semi muddies is pretty good, I thought. Uh, and actually, even then, they're still okay, those tyres. Yeah. We, we actually changed the rims uh, for this trip because this size tyre was more readily available uh, travelling yeah, yeah. Traveling around Australia. We didn't want to run into trouble where um, we needed a tyre and there was none. Yeah, that's right. That, that's not yeah. really a standard size. So this one just gave us a bit more option. In yeah, places. a bit more comfort that we're going to find those tyres somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, we have the uh, MSA mirrors. These mirrors are a unbelievable. Game changer. Yes, because you pull them out and you don't have to attach anything. You don't have to tighten anything up. Uh, all you got to do is adjust the mirrors uh, because when you put them on the side, they're actually out of skew. So you can uh, actually adjust your mirrors back to caravan or car. And they also still have your um, your indications for when you're uh, overtaking and stuff like that. So all your emergency uh, identification. Or your side side in side intrusion, I yeah. think it's called. Yeah. So that's a very cool. They aren't cheap, but uh, we love them. <laughs> yeah, I reckon they're cool. <laughs> they're really good. Uh, also, we got the uh, Wrestler rock sliders uh, because I was sick of changing um, 
steps every time I went four wheel driving. The other ones, all you have to do is look at them or stand on them and they dent. Uh, these, um, well, we haven't really tested them that much yet, but uh, uh, I've got uh, friends with um, uh, four wheel drives with the, this uh, kit on and you just roll off any rock or uh, tree roots or things like that when you're going through pretty muddy spots. So they're a, they're a, they're a game changer as well, I thought. Um, and they're Aussie made, they're made in uh, Mount Evelyn in Victoria. We also got um, uh, the windows tinted. Um, it already, already comes uh, standard with uh, tint at the back, uh, but we matched it, um, and it's a, it's actually a ceramic coated tint, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, it was uh, guaranteed that we'd get about three degrees cooler in the car than just a normal uh, everyday tint that you put on your car, which was pretty good, I thought. And uh, just to point out, if you haven't yet liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe. Right, round to the back of the car. Uh, we've got the stone stompers, but this is packed up. Um, we pack it up uh, when we uh, get to where we're going, and um, it's a pretty good thing. Um, doesn't take much to put on, just six clips and a and another band, and uh, unravel these. And uh, Bob's protects, your uncle just protects your van from all the stones and stuff that gets thrown up yeah. from the car. Yeah. We won't talk about the hitch because we've no. talked about that previously. The hitch is a really sore spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of the people we'd like to mention as well, uh, CCTR Caravans in Croydon, Tim, young Tim, does a lot of our stuff, he does our solar, he does our caravan, um, he does all sorts of things for me, uh, fabricates things, um, yeah, helps us out a, a whole heap, so thanks Tim from Croydon Caravans. Uh, Wholesale Automatics is where we got our gearbox upgrade. Um, they're Pro Tinting in Lilydale is where we got our tint done. Uh, Osfall Drive, uh, they did the uh, the gearbox, uh, not the gear, they did the um, the airbox and the pre-filter and um, you know anything four wheel drive, uh, uh, Sandy can do it. And the Dargo Hotel did us drinks. Yeah, <laughs> we had a little jiggy poo at the Dargo. <laughs> now careful, because we're going to go into the rear of our pride and joy. Ta -da! I'm just going to do a Delvin Delaney. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we'll start off with the uh, the battery system. It is a Lackey uh, from Enerdrive, uh, which is a really cool little system. It's got a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, we charge a lot of stuff um, with it. Uh, anything 240, we charge it on the road, overnight time, so that we're not taking away from the van. Um, I've got a uh, when we when we uh, go into the back of the car, I'll show you the uh, box that was made up by my uh, stepson. Uh, it's a charging box. We've got a, a uh, an Anderson plug and a cigarette lighter outlet just near the. Um, near the seat, uh, the back seat, and I sit a box on the back seat, does USBs, does Anderson plug, does uh, cigarette, lighter. cigarette lighters, uh, anything like GoPro, batteries. All your 12 volt. All your 12 volt stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, so because of all our media gear, uh, we needed a box where we could keep it all in um, so that you know, it doesn't go flying around the back seat as we're driving along. And it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. Uh, thank you, Regan. <laughs> And part of the uh, the engine room of the uh, battery system, we've got a 200 amp hour uh, lithium ion from Innerdrive. Has its own battery management system, so you can uh, use an app to have a look at what it's doing, which is a pretty cool idea for when you're on the road. Um, and we've got a 200 watt solar panel on the roof of our rooftop tent, which I'll show you um, later on as part of the accessories. Um, We've got the draw system. We went with the uh, El Cheapo King's draw system. We've been on some pretty shaky roads. Um, I've got the fridge uh, melted to it and uh, hasn't moved, no. hasn't rattled, hasn't done anything. A bit of the felt's coming off in one corner. And the only thing I <laughs> notice is just here 
is slightly sagged, but if you knew what we actually piled up here when we're <laughs> traveling, you'd sort of understand why that's sagged. Yes. Yeah. It has a lot of weight. I'll just show so. you inside. Um, this is all uh, my tools. Uh, got my tool bag, got extra. Our car is uh, going to be held together with uh, zip ties <laughs> once we finish the gib. <laughs> I think. It's not uh, a Y62, honey. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought we were in a Y62. Um, yeah, we uh, are kidding. Or you Y62 Yeah, people. yeah, you poo troll people. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, this is part of the air system also, which I'll, I'll tell you about, which is the ARB um, uh, compressor. They've got a 40 litre tank um, that holds 40 litres of air. So you don't need to actually turn it on just to squirt a few things down. You, you know, your, your filters and stuff like that, you can always uh, do that. When you're airing up, turn it on. When you're airing down, you don't need it. Um, the cool thing about this is this is a non-stop, uh, a one-stop shop. Uh, you can actually air up and air down with this uh, from ARB, which I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we've got everything in here that we need. Spare this, spare that, spare bolts, spare you name it, we've got it. Um, drill bits, uh, we've got a few of, to air down with the uh, the caravan when we're doing eight, you know, eight wheels. Um, what else, honey? Well, that drawers are all the tools and everything. Yep. This drawer is all uh, the stuff if we go off, off from the caravan. From the caravan. Sorry. This drawer is uh, all the stuff for when we go off without the caravan. Uh, so it's all crockery, cut cutlery, uh, tea towels, wipers, um, everything. Yeah. Everything that we need, pretty much. Toilet paper, tissues. Yeah. And this is from King's, which is a pretty cool... That's our bench. Little, yeah. Which is very handy. Yes. Yes. I thought it was a, a cheap accessory and a very very handy one for us when we're uh, going away from the caravan and it just, just uh goes slides on top of the actual drawer yeah put it away just to explain why we we've set the car up this way um is because we've got a 22 foot van it's semi off-road apparently um it's like every other van uh we've we've skull dragged it into everywhere so far there's one place we've been into uh, that we couldn't get into with the van uh, and we use the rooftop tent so we go off in that um, and there's going to be a few more Mitchell Falls is one of them um, up in uh, up on the gib uh, and I wouldn't take my caravan up there if you paid me uh, it probably wouldn't come back um the gibbs bad enough so we've set this up with a rooftop tent with uh its own power its own water its own uh shower toilet everything once we've packed it all uh we can go off and be self-sufficient for about three or four days at least so this just lifts off i'll turn it around and flies onto the top of your uh drawer Anyway, that's that bit of uh, felt that I was telling you about. Which could probably be glued and fixed. Yeah. Uh, the glue's at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, the, mo the most important part is the fridge that holds the grog. But it's on an MSA slide, which uh, I think is pretty good. It's, uh, it's handled all the rattles and, and everything and jumping around that we've been doing so far. And is really easy to manoeuvre and pull down. Um, Which is really good for short people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's a 55 litre Dometic. Uh, it's fridge freezer, um, and just yeah, has all the grog, a bit of bread, and a bit of bait, and a bit of bait. Note to self: do not leave bait in the fridge <laughs> when parked at airport. Yeah, if you've seen one of our previous uh, <laughs> vlogs, we had to buy a new new Dometic, fridge, two, new Dometic fridge because the other one stunk too much. Uh, also, uh, if you've only got a 55, uh, you get a little bit of room at the front, which is pretty good and handy for, you know, leaving stuff on. There, to grab, it's handy. There you go. And I've also got the Kayon uh, roof rack, which is uh, the roof, um, yeah, or you call it a roof rack, I suppose. Um, roof shelf? Roof shelf, yeah. Uh, cargo shelf. 
Um, it's made in Australia. Get on them. Uh, they're pretty good. Hasn't rattled apart. Um, pretty easy to uh, install. Comes with all the nuts and bolts and um, goes into into uh, already existing nuts and bolt systems. So that's that's pretty good for uh, you know all your odds and bods that are up there. Uh, also, we had a light uh, installed over here uh, by Tim again, uh, which. You can see it goes on. Oh, there we go. It's on. Uh, and it's just a little switch on the side. Uh, makes it easier when we're cooking outside and, and um, you know, attracts the flies and the insects and everything else. Uh, also, we've got our, um, uh, our ladder for our rooftop tent stacked in here. And, our two and little... Tony uses that, which you would have seen on a previous uh, vlog also to clean the solar panels on the top of the caravan. Yeah. So that yeah. ladder comes in handy for everything. Even if I didn't have a rooftop tent, one of these come in very, very handy because they pack away really, yep. really good. Pretty flat. And easy to uh, you know put up and get down and break down again. And uh, yeah, it, it's invaluable for when I'm doing the solar panels or anything on the roof of the caravan. And if you're thinking that we've got everything and the kitchen sink, you'd be right. Because there's the kitchen sink. Yeah, that's the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> and a hot water service and all sorts of other things. But anyway. So come around to the other side of the car. For starters, um, if you haven't liked and subscribed, <laughs> like and subscribe. You won't miss anything. You won't miss anything. You know? We won't miss your beautiful face, honey. That's right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right so, uh, this comes to the Rhino Rack. Um, the Rhino Rack system is the, um, is the one with the backbone, which gives it a 180 kilo rating. Uh, we've also got another Rhino Rack on the front because I didn't want to... You can cantilever this uh, rooftop tent that we've got, which is the uh, Bush Company Alpha, which is the top of the range uh, rooftop tent. Uh, we Which got we'll do on another vlog. Yeah. I think we we can uh, do it once we probably even sleep in it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So so that's that. And the thirty second awning um, only takes about forty seconds to put out. <laughs> it's a bit like the two dollar shop. <laughs> Nothing's two dollars. So the thirty second awning. Yeah. Yeah. No, I suppose you could get it done in thirty yeah. seconds, but yeah. you know, really. Depends if you're a strong man or a weak woman like me, and it takes yeah. about a minute. Yeah. If you want to set it up properly, it takes about uh, 40 seconds. Um, but yeah, um, we don't have any affiliation with any of these products, so we're just. Good. Um, it's just good service, good products, yep. and we will sort of tell you if we're uh, not happy with it. Yeah. One thing we've found with this uh, roof, with the awning, uh, we put it out the other day, and the centre pin that holds all of the um, all of the outriggers, the weight mainly, uh, yeah, um, actually is it's a little bit bent, uh, and uh, we have to prop it up when we put it out. So, but we've just contacted Thirty Second Awning and just waiting for a, a response reply. back. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, so it is a two seventy awning. Um, it is pretty cool. Um, you can uh, leave it out without any props or anything uh, in you know light winds uh, a lot of them flap around uh, this thing um, is very very steady up to about uh, 20 kilometer winds I'd say um, but like, like, like the awning on the caravan Always. I like to tie it down I like to do everything so that just in case there's a gust of wind that's gonna you know peel it back over the car um, yeah so so we do that anyway but it doesn't take long at all uh, the one thing I like about um, this rooftop tent is you can uh, put other racks on top of that and then put stuff on top of it uh, it's not a soft top it's a hard top and very very hard I can actually stand on there on the corners we've got um, uh, four um, tread pro uh, tracks from uh, ARB which are really really good we've uh, we've used them a few times to get the caravan out of sandy spots and doesn't rip your tires uh, chunks don't come off them uh, they're very very good uh, like them also got at the back we've got um, the jerry can slash gas bottle holder for when we go off uh, on our own. It's uh, actually got some leveling ramps up there at the moment. 
Uh, these spotties we had put in. Uh, again, Tim from CCTR. And uh, yeah, one on either side. They uh, turn on from the dash and uh, good for when you're backing up and uh, at night time when you're setting up uh, if you get to a spot uh, really, really late, which is very, very good. Uh, another accessory um, for, uh, for us was the uh, Rhino Rack Shovel. It's a little bit longer than a normal, um, you know, everyday spade, uh, but it's not your really long handled shovel. Uh, it uh, doesn't take up as much room, um and it is fantastic we use it all the time uh it's got steps on it uh for you know when you're getting into really bad ground uh and yeah so that's another accessory that we've got so we just want to show you inside um when you're touring around um we do a lot of driving and just to make it more comfortable we've got you know some accessories that we've put inside the front of the car that you know you never know you might uh, want them as well uh, to start off uh, these uh, chargers and phone holders we got one each um, we actually uh, mount a GoPro on the dash um, because I've had to modify our dash mat which is invaluable um, get a lot of dust we throw a lot of stuff on the dash um, it'd scratch the hell out of it it also I find uh, doesn't hold the heat uh, like dashes normally once you've been sitting in car parks or whatever just driving hold yeah. a lot of heat yeah. the dash mat doesn't hold any heat does it yeah that's right yeah um, also yeah I've got I've got my um, uh, sunglass holder also got the uh, the little wifey one <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty cool just got it online yep. uh, and it just holds everything so it's nothing floating around on the dash also um, the wifey again gave me a little prezzy uh, <laughs> and these are the Toyota ones um, they've got Toyota on the side of them uh, they handle all your bibs and bobs uh, which is pretty handy as well they are know. really good we just put little bits and pieces like we have keys in there I have my reading glasses um, things to clean your glasses lip balm whatever yep. coin little bits of coin yep. we've got our lapping it up uh, <laughs> drink, drink, drink bottles, bottles they're that really in, good that goes in there and we've got our fridge full of grog not for while we're driving for when we get there <laughs> um, another Another present from the little lady um, with these. They are super trim uh, seat covers. Now, um, I've had lambswool seat covers that also was a present from the wifey, um, which were nice and they were cool and everything else, but they, they get a lot of um, dust and dirt in them and they're really hard to clean. Uh, comfortable, but we got these, uh, or I got these for, I think it was Christmas or a birthday present. Yep. And when you're touring around and jumping in and out of the car and you got, you know, sand and sweat and Mud, all sorts of things all over water. you. Unbelievable. These are so cool in the summer. Uh, you jump in your car and you don't even feel like you're jumping into a hot box. Mm. Um, they're really, really good. You know, your back doesn't stick to the seat and all that kind of stuff. So that was pretty cool. Hmm. Um, the radio just sits on there. Yeah, um, which, which, which is magnetised. I've I've used a little magnetic um, duvalaki that goes into your um, into your vent. fan slot, vent slot, uh, and it just uh, sticks to there, which is pretty good. Um, what else did we, have we got there? Oh, you just got your your tyre indicator. Oh yeah, my tyre indicator from Repco, which is the solar one. Uh, so you don't need to wire that up at all and uh, it lets off a few false alarms every now and again but uh, it uh, mainly it just shows you your tyre pressures and your tyre um, temperatures and stuff Which like that. Which we've only got it set for the caravan. Yeah, it's just for the caravan, not for the car at the moment. Um, also we've got uh, a bit of a menagerie going on, we've got Percy. That's Percy the penguin. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's our observer and I've also got um, my little mate who sits on the dash as well. We well, got, he tries to sit on the dash. He tries to sit on the dash. He's a bit of a <laughs> pisshead. <laughs> so he gets drunk every now and again and rolls around. But uh, we got him from America, from the M&M shop in uh, Times Square, which is, he comes around with us all the time. 
All right, we'll come around this side, and this is the back seat of the car. Um, and again, you know, just to make it comfortable for us and, you know, easy to get to stuff and, and whatever, um, we start off with the bladder. Um, it's a 100 litre bladder. It's actually full at the moment uh, because we're going off road after tomorrow again. Um, and we have done a previous vlog on, on the bladder, on how you fill it and um, all that sort of stuff, haven't we? Yeah, which is pretty cool, I thought. Um, good way to, you know, bring water back for the day, um, you know, give you more showers and, you know, more things. Or if we're off in just the car, yes. we use that. Yeah. Um, also, standard. Everyone should have one. Epurb. Um, not very expensive. They last for five years, I think, five yeah, or seven years. Got to register all. it. Register it. Peace um, of mind, absolutely. Yeah. If you go on remote, don't go without it. Yeah. Uh, you know, like there's a few spots. We haven't been that remote yet, but, you know, just spots where you think to yourself, we could break down here and we're a long way from nowhere. Um, this is a peace of mind. Uh, somebody will get to you. Um, we just, we just keep it in the back there and slides the handle slides over that yep. and it's down in a little pocket. As mentioned before, uh, our charging station which sits on the back seat and keeps everything nice and handy thanks to Regan, uh, my stepson. Uh, this is for the uh, drone. Uh, I can do four drone batteries at any one time. Actually, just show this. Um, it's uh, Tim again from CCTR put a an Anderson plug and a cigarette lighter plug right up here beside the uh, the seat that charge that, that charges everything in here um, and that's off the main battery uh, and we can do two cigarette lighters uh, and four USBs uh, very very handy uh, to keep everything in here while we're driving along so it doesn't go all over the back seat neat and tidy Neat and tidy. Can't lose anything or anything like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's all good. Um, also, we've got um, just a, a box uh, of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just stuff. It's actually a handy box because yeah. from the front seat we can we can sort of pick up the drone if we need to quickly drone or yeah. we keep our you know yeah. bits and pieces. It's got 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 the wife's little blankie in her little you know, hat for when she gets cold. <laughs> Some socks and stuff. And behind the seats, hanging on the seats, yes. we have these car can holders, one on each side. Uh, the one behind Tony's seat, we just tend to put sunscreen, Bushman's, toilet paper. All your bits and pieces. All the bits and pieces like so that. So it's another storage container, obviously. And wipes, armoral wipes. And on my side over there, um, that's sort of the rubbish bin just for the day while we travel. Yeah. And when we get somewhere, we Yeah, if he gets some rubbish on it. your side. Yeah, great. She's lucky. And that's about the back seat done, yeah, I think. Is. And, and uh, again, again, the seat covers for the back seat. Uh, also, we've got a, uh, a cargo uh, net uh, that we bought online. It's, pff, I don't know, about $10, I think it was. No, it was more than that. No, it wasn't. Was it? It was cheap yeah. as. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> it's only for holding hats. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we put all our hats up there, out of the way, which is pretty cool. Yep. So, just to sum up, um, this is my pride and joy. Um, it hasn't let us down yet. It is a fantastic vehicle. Uh, I keep telling Fee that I'm just a uh, steering wheel attendant, especially when we're four-wheel driving uh, and towing. Uh, we get to spots sometimes and we have to look around and make sure the caravan's actually there. That's how well it tows. Uh, we've set it up to go off-grid um, and we're really, really happy uh, with the performance of this vehicle. Um, so that wraps it all up um, and we've come to the end of this uh, little walk around of my pride and joy so again like and subscribe you won't miss anything so you can see my reflection if you have any questions or um, or anything regarding the rig uh, or any of the accessories that uh, we just showed you um, just leave it in the comments and we'll get back to you and thanks for watching